My name is Gülçehra Hoca. I am a journalist with Radio Free Asia's Uyghur Language Service, and I am a, U I am a U.S. citizen. Given the time, uh, I will not read my full statement, but uh, share my story. I grew up in Urumqi, the capital of Uyghur region in China, where I began my career in broadcast journalism before coming to United States in 2001 to work for Radio Free Asia. It was a great sacrifice to leave my homeland. I left behind a successful career as a television journalist. I also left my home my parents, my family, and my friends. But coming here guaranteed me freedom, something that could never be realized in China. Being part of Radio Free Asia, which reports on the true daily news happening in the Uyghur region, was the dream of a lifetime. As I testify before you today, it grieves me to no end to say that my parents remained under threat and more than two dozen of my relatives in China are missing. Almost certainly held in called re-education camps run by Chinese government. I first heard my brother Kaisar Qiyum was detained at the end of September last year Police had taken him when he was driving my mother to doctor's appointment, leaving her alone in the car without any explanation. She waited for her son, who would never return. Kaysar was being held in one of the so-called re-education centers in Urumqi. We have not seen him since. In February, my parents both elderly and suffering from life-threatening ailments, went missing. Not being able to talk to my mother and father or to learn how they were doing was almost too much to bear. I tried contacting other family, but could not reach them. And I learned in February that my aunts, cousins, their children, more than 20 people had been swept up by authorities in the same day. No one has confirmed where they are being held, but I strongly suspect they are in the camps, which sources say is hold over more than like 1 million Uyghurs in the extremely poor conditions. My parents were held in medical facility in the detention camps, and they were allowed to live in March. Maybe because of their poor health, authorities have questioned my parents about me, where I am, and my work for an organization they claim is anti-China. Many of my Uyghur colleagues at the RFA share the same situation. Their families are also missing, detained, and jailed after receiving threats about their work at RFA. I hope and pray for my family to be let go and released. But I know, even if that happens, they will still live under constant threat. Despite these threats, I know and my colleagues know that we must continue because of the important role we have as a source of truth for the Uyghur people. I came to United States to realize a dream, a dream of a being able to tell the truth without fear. It may be difficult, but I will keep trying and I will never give up. Thank you so much. Thank you.